skin cancer is the most common type of cancer worldwide, yet so many misconceptions surround it. These myths can lead to dangerous misunderstandings about risk factors, prevention, and early detection. Today, I'm going to separate fact from fiction and give you the knowledge you need to protect yourself and your loved ones. If you've ever wondered whether only fair-skinned people get skin cancer or if tanning beds are really safer than the sun, this video is for you. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board-certified general surgeon and IFM-certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on the latest medical research, food and supplements, functional medicine, surgery, and skin health to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share, and subscribe. So let's dive in. Myth number one. Only people with fair or light skin get skin cancer. So one of the biggest misconceptions is that only people with fair skin develop skin cancer. While it's true that lighter skin tones have a higher risk due to lower level of mel melanin, people with all skin types can develop skin cancer, including melanoma, the deadliest form. And in fact, when skin cancer appears in individuals with darker skin, it's often diagnosed at the latest stage, making it more dangerous. So no matter your skin tone, regular skin checks and sun protection are essential. Myth number two, sunscreen is only necessary on sunny days. Cloudy skies don't mean you're safe from UV rays. Up to 80% of UV radiation penetrates through clouds, meaning you're still at risk on overcast days. We recommend daily sunscreen to the face all year round, including indoors, unless you live in the basement, as they always say. And in the warmer months, the recommendation is to reapply sunscreen after 60 to 90 minutes in the direct sun to all exposed areas. And it should be a broad spectrum sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher. Myth number three, tanning beds are safer than sunbathing. This is a very dangerous myth. Tanning beds emit concentrated UVA radiation, which penetrates deeper into the skin and significantly increases the risk of melanoma. The World Health Organization classifies tanning bed as a group one carcinogen, the same category as tobacco and asbestos. So no, tanning beds are not a safe alternative. The best tan is the one that comes from a bottle, so not a UV exposure. So now that we've busted some myths, let's talk about the most common types of skin cancer and what to watch for. Basal cell carcinoma, or BCC, I'll start with that. It's most common but least aggressive form of skin cancer often appears as a shiny, pearly bump or a sore that doesn't heal. And it's common on sun-exposed areas like face and neck and especially on the nose. Although these cancers are not very aggressive in terms of spreading to lymph nodes or other organs, they will grow if left untreated, so they need to be removed. Next is squamous cell carcinoma, or SCC. It is a little bit more aggressive than the basal cell carcinoma. It can grow deeper and spread to lymph nodes and other organs if left untreated. Often it appears as a scaly red patch, firm lump, or an ulcer that won't heal. Squamous cell carcinomas can range from minimally aggressive to very aggressive, so they should never ever be ignored. Then, of course, we have melanoma, that is the deadliest form of skin cancer. It can appear as a new mole or an existing mole that changes in size, shape, or color. Many of you are familiar with ABCDE rule for melanoma detection, and I'll go over that again. So A stands for asymmetry, B stands for irregularity of borders, C stands for color changes, D stands for diameter larger than a pencil eraser, and E stands for evolving over time. I actually would like to clarify or even correct some of these. First, I have many patients in our clinic who have anywhere from 100 to 500 moles on just one area of the body alone, such as uh, the back or chest or one arm. And most, if not all these moles, are irregular with multiple colors. Yet, thankfully, these moles are benign. So it's very difficult for a patient to use this ABCD criteria as 
all their malls may look suspicious to them, I consider the most important sign to look for to detect a melanoma or premelanoma is a change in an existing mole or evolving E or a new mole occurrence. So if you notice any change in your mole, size, color, height of the mole, or new symptoms associated with the mole, such as itching or pain, that needs to be looked at by your doctor. My other clarification is the size. Melanoma doesn't have to be large. It can be as small as a dot. Recently, I diagnosed the smallest ever melanoma that I've ever seen, and it was one millimeter. So if you notice any suspicious changes in your skin, new moles or changes in the existing moles, then you need to be seen by your doctor. So what can you do to protect your skin? So of course, get regular skin cancer screenings or skin checks. Early detection saves lives. Wear sunscreen daily, even indoors to the face. Avoid tanning beds completely. Check your skin regularly for any new or changing spots, like once a month, for example. If this video helped you, then please share it with others. And for more expert insights on skin health, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on skin health, skin cancer, and other skin conditions. Stay safe, stay informed, and take care of your skin. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.